when you close your eyes and stay with the breath. You have to give your full attention. It's not like the breath is going to come in and shake up your mind and straighten it out. The mind is basically straightening itself and using the breath as a means. But it's the intention in one part of the mind to train the whole rest of the mind. That's what makes a difference. And that intention has to give a lot. Keep giving and giving and giving. It's full attention, it's full powers of thought and trying to figure things out when things are not going right. And when they are going right, how do you figure out how to keep them going? There are the instructions you get from outside, but then you have to take those instructions and try them. And if they don't quite work for you, then you have to make your own adjustments. So you have to think things through and learn how to apply the, the basic principles to what your particular situation is. But it's up to you to do the work. And this is the way it is all the way through the path. The Buddha doesn't force anybody to do anything. He doesn't force you to be generous. He doesn't force you to observe the precepts or force you to meditate. He's, no in, he's in no position to force anybody, really, except for the monks to obey the rules that he set down. But beyond that, nothing is forced. It's all voluntary. And that's actually what makes it good. You can see inside that you've got some good impulses and you also got some bad impulses. It's up to you to see that it, you want to side with the good impulses. It has to be a voluntary sort of thing. So from the very beginning, with the generosity in terms of what you give, not only in terms of material things, but also your time, your energy, you realize that you gain from the giving. This is why there are no job descriptions around here at the monastery. There's but there's a lot of work to be done, and here's your opportunity to look around. Even as you just walk back from here to the kitchen, sometimes you can see some weeds here and there. You can pull those out, or as I say, you can contemplate them. Little things that need straightening out, you straighten them out. You don't just leave them as they are. Look at this as an opportunity to do a little extra good on the side. Because it's that little good on the ex on extra good on the side that gives some nourishment to the path. If you think all you have to do is do the meditation technique and that's enough, it's like a person who exercises, but you know, exercises only one muscle in the body. The muscle, the whole rest of the body is going to get pulled out of pulled out of whack. So when there's an opportunity to help, you help. And see that as an opportunity, not as a chore, not as an obligation. It's an opportunity to develop good qualities in the mind. And as you nourish that willingness to give, then you find that you have more to give to the meditation. The goodness outside and the goodness inside are connected. So if you want better results inside, we'll look at what you're doing outside and see where you can give a little bit more. because that may be just what's lacking.